On Sunday, Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro announced that some of the parties in the country will no longer be able to participate in elections starting in 2018. Now, he specifically uh, ruled out certain groups for presidency based on the fact that they have already been calling for people to boycott the elections. If you're already not going to participate in them, why even have them there? Now, here's exactly what he said. The other parties... Voluntad, Popular, Primero, Justica have disappeared from the Venezuelan political map and today disappear totally. Parties that did not participate today and have called for voters to participate in a boycott cannot participate anymore. This is the criteria of the, natu the National Constituent Assembly has put forward constitutionally and legally, and I, as Chief of State, support them. Now, of course, this is going to be a very controversial move that is going to be denounced worldwide as an act of suppression of democracy, which I don't think so, because if you're already not participating in the democracy, then you're not really being excluded from it. Now, the Venezuelan government is doing this because it is currently under siege and has been for over a decade by the United States and other imperialist powers across the country, many of whom who have been flooding millions of dollars into the country to manipulate public opinion, to uh, buy off uh, media outlets, to manipulate the, the economy, etc. Now, there's many fair criticisms that people can make of the Venezuelan economy in that uh, things that are actually the fault of the Bolivarian government and not the fault of the foreign interference. For example, uh, the, the need to normalize the exchange rates is in incredibly important, and keeping them at the, the way that they are now is not something the imperialists are doing. But other than that, there has been a great deal of sabotage to the country. And it has obviously been under attack from U.S. imperialism, from banking sanctions to outright manipulation of votes to flooding money into groups to try to overthrow the Boulevard and government, from groups, uh, U.S.-backed groups that have been caught giving drugs to young people to try to get them killed in protest deliberately so they can make a claim about how bad the violence actually is. Now, I'm assuming there will be a great deal of backlash from the international community who will denounce this as an act of totalitarian dictatorship. Of course, this belies the fact that there is also a thing called a participatory democracy, which has been set up by uh, an alternative body by the Venezuelan government that allows specific groups within the country, the youth, uh, the, in the indigenous, uh, women, etc., to have specific votes on issues. Now, from a very reasonable standpoint, nobody wants groups that are very specifically being paid for by the U.S. out of organizations called USAID, etc., wielding influence in your country. If you know that there's a political party that is literally trying to sell out your country to another one, why would you let them in the elections to begin with? They're essentially guilty of treason, and the United States wouldn't allow that. If there was a political party that wholly wanted to hand over the United States and all control of its resources, etc., to Nazi Germany, the United States would have certainly stopped that political party from existing, or at least suppressing it in some way. So why should Venezuela have to put up with people who are trying to sabotage their economy, trying to destroy it, and turn them back into a colony of the United States? And this is a very positive step. Now, this is not as far as many of us would like Nicolas Maduro to go. A lot of us would like him to just declare a dictatorship of the proletariat and abolish the other parties completely and begin a real socialist orientation. But, however, the Bolivarian experiment seems uh, very much intent on pushing this down a, a bourgeois legal path. And this seems to be the latest, most radical step it has taken. But it is at least a step in the right direction. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.